What's up, my friends? Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Here we are with Ace and we're in Skyhold here. We need to touch base with a few more people, then head on out towards our specialization. Let's look for these tomes while we are here because they do add on to the specialization. So let's just get moving. Let's try to get towards the specialization. I know which one I want to do, so we will reveal it soon enough. But for now, let's go ahead. Full wheel of Antivan smoked cheese, and now three royals worth of crushed mint. They were right here. I remember seeing someone take them. I just, I can't recall their face. Cole. Cole was doing his thing. A note from the Skyhole Kitchens. Request for supplies, potatoes, 500. Flour, 50 sacks. Dried peas, 100 sacks. Salted meat, as much as possible. Willow switches, four to break in the kitchen hands. Yet another note from the kitchens. How many times do I have to say this? If it falls on the floor, it's still good to eat. Head cook Doton. Oh, man. I guess it's a five second rule. Excuse me. Note from the Skyhole Kitchens again. If I ever find out who put the turnips in the fireplace, I will personally feed them into a meat grinder. Head cook Doton. Oh man, this food must be terrible here. Must Everyone must be pulling hairs out their mouth every time they go to eat fucking dinner. Another note from the Skyhole Kitchens. Once again, please keep the elf out of the kitchen. And check the sugar daily to make sure it is still sugar and not salt. Head Cook Doton. Beneath is written, try keeping this out. Followed by an arrow pointing towards a crude rolling of a Falabas. Whatever the hell that is. Look at this place. There's no end of it. I could store an army. You can kind of see. You can see the dust here. Kind of just hazing up, man. It's awesome. What do you suppose this is? I guess this is what? I don't know what a pic what this picture is about. Really cool looking though. Isn't there like a thing down here? Oh, right here. The Pyramids of Par Volan. Alright, we will get to that soon enough. The Blight Chapter 2. Folly General Not Short Hand. You know, I wonder what them books are about. I never actually read them. What is green? We shall get to that as well. Pretty crazy looking place. I bet there's a spider in here, huh? Got to just drop down. Look at this massive tome here. It's got, looks like maybe a Taventer sign here. It looks like a snake around a sword. All right, let's keep on moving. Let's get to the Arcanist if somebody I want to talk to. I also want to check in at the garden area as well. And then war table, and then it's time to go off to our specialization. What the hell was that? Oh, that's, oh, that's Josie. All right, Josie, let's go to the gardens first. Then we will go to the Arcanist. Anything around here? Nothing. All right. Fertile ground, even here. Fertile ground has everything. It does have everything, Ace. Inquisitor, Elan Vimal. Honored to represent the College of Herbalists and offer my services as apothecary. My colleague Adan was clear about the worth of your cause. I look forward to assisting him. Welcome aboard. He thought highly of me, right? He didn't seem all that friendly toward me. A sign of his respect. Smiles are saved for fools, so they leave quickly. All the mundane needs of Skyhold will be well tended. If you note anything special, let me know. I'm here to serve the cause we must. Is there anything else? I am at your service. Oh, here we go. What is your evaluation of our supplies? We are well supplied, and I foresee only better to come. So she is our botanist in a way here. Herbalist. Gardener. Are there others who could come to Skyhold? They are helping now. I have contacted many of our finest, and their influence is not inconsequential. They are not, shall we say, 
prone to take the field, but we will be well supplied. Where did you receive your training? I studied with Adan after he left the service of the King of Ferelden. Well, when the King was no longer there to serve. Our College of Associates tends to meet informally. I've since been fortunate enough to serve various heads of state. They are all as good as another, truth be told. My skills and contacts are better suited to more imminent need. I take it you're a city elf, not Dalish. It's... not a useful identifier. I am an elf. I was raised away from the Dalish. No, I do not know their customs. Perhaps that wasn't immediately obvious. It's of little concern. I have skill enough to be evaluated by what I can do. My associates appreciate my work. As you were. Of course, Inquisitor. There you go. All right, where? Well, there's Giselle over there. Definitely talk to her. Oh, we can plant seeds. Can we even plant anything right now? Construction report and scaffolding. Third fall in many days. We need more sandbags. It's almost impossible to drive an anchor between these blocks. The place was built to last, but that makes it a fight to build it up. Berenol Roofer. Approve. The Inquisition needs its people on good legs. Sir Morris Quartermaster. Thank you, Morris. Can we even plant anything? We probably have no seeds whatsoever. No, we probably don't. If we don't have common, then we don't have anything. Letter to the Inquisition agent. My darling Wilbur, I am so proud of you. We hear so much about the Inquisition in the village. It makes me happy to know you are doing your part. I am sorry about what happened to Haven. I will light a candle in the Chantry for the Fallen. Please take care of yourself. I know what you're like when things get busy and fate of the world hangs in balance. You must take care of yourself before you can help save the world, you know. Don't forget to eat. You're still in the mountains. It must be cold and wet. Why couldn't it be in the Fort Nahinta lands? Then you'd be closer to home. Well, trust warmly. Shall I send you a blanket? Anyway, you should write more often. I don't understand why you can't tell me what you're doing. You shouldn't keep secrets from your mother. Love always, mother. P.S. What do you mean I have to address the letters to Rector? Is that what they call you there? Why? Your name is Wilbur Quigley. It's a good name. Wilbur was your uncle's name. He fought in the Battle of Riverdane. We are all so proud of him. Are you ashamed of your given name? Why are you ashamed, Wilbur? <laughs> Do we know Rector? Doesn't Rector come up at some point? I'm pretty sure she speaks about Rector or we hear about Rector or something. He's a good agent, I think. Bride of the Maker. Maker though I am but one, I have called in your name and those who come to serve will know your glory. I remember for them, they will see what can be gained and though we are few against the wind, we are yours. Canicle or trials? I've won. Thank you. We just prayed a little bit. All right, well, isn't there something up here? Hold on here. Can't fucking hide from Ace. There's like a, an arrow somewhere up here, isn't there? I know there is. Here we go. Belenaris the Nanhim. Cataloging Skyhold Elven Arrow with inscription. An arrow elven, of course, because who else would be this fancy with a throwaway? I've talked weapon talk with traitors before, and the squiggly scratching means make you dead or near enough. Well made have to be to keep its shape since whatever ancient side around it's from. All I know is there are centuries of nooks in the walls I have to patch. They keep an edge if they don't hit stone. Tell the men to mind their fingers. They got fresh blood on this one. Mason Gatsy. All right. Interesting enough. Let's go talk to Giselle. Where the hell are you at, Giselle? Excuse me, ma'am. Ah. Uh. Inquisitor, you have finally come into your own. The Maker has put you on a difficult path. I pray you walk it safely. Did you make me Inquisitor? I mean, you kind of think she probably kind of did a little bit. She pushed it. I remember our talk out there before we found Skyhold. It wasn't just the Maker who put me on this path, was it? The Inquisitor could never have been Cassandra or Leliana or me for that matter. We are too political, too tied to the Chantry and all its failings. But I did not make you stand against Corypheus. 
I did not make you risk death to save the people of Haven. Only you could be the Inquisitor. I only pray the power of the Inquisition is enough. I will prove myself worthy. It will have to be. We're done praying. I mean, it will obviously have to be. If the power of the Inquisition isn't enough, we're all in a great deal of trouble. It may seem overwhelming now, but you have already done more than most could have. The Maker has chosen you to deliver us from Corypheus. You have the faith and support of everyone here. Never forget that. Now, was there anything else? Tell me about Corypheus, how are the people? You know, let's ask about Corypheus and then we will move along. Can you tell me anything about Corypheus? I know nothing of the man personally, but the chant of light speaks of what he claims to be. No matter all their power, their triumphs, the mage lords of the winter were men and doomed to die. Then a voice whispered within their hearts, shall you surrender your power to time like the beasts of the fields? You are the lords of the earth. Go forth to claim the empty throne of heaven and be gods. That was one of the old gods speaking in their dreams? Yes, you met as I understand it. In secret, they worked magic upon magic. All their power and all their vanity, they turned against the veil until at last it gave way. Sounds familiar, let's discuss another matter. I mean, it does kind of sound familiar what Corypheus said. That sounds like what happened with the breach. Very similar, Inquisitor. Above them, a river of light. Before them, the throne of heaven waiting. Beneath their feet, the footprints of the Maker and all around them echoed a vast silence. But when they took a single step toward the empty throne, a great voice cried out, shaking the very foundations of heaven and earth. <laughs> the pattern in this game is just something else, man. Just go around. Do you have to go through us? Corypheus disagrees with that. Well, I guess he does disagree with that. Corypheus said he found only chaos and corruption. The chant of light says that it was beautiful until the Maker himself spoke. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Again, that sounds different. It's not very far off different, but it does sound different, obviously. Corypheus seems so certain that he heard nothing. He described it as dead whispers. Bitterness, perhaps? He paid a high price for his crime. Violently were they cast down, for no mortal may walk bodily in the realm of dreams, bearing the mark of their crime. Walking bodily in the realm of dreams is exactly what Corypheus said he did. But the mark... Could it be related to the mark I bear? I cannot say. Perhaps Andraste saw clearly and we misinterpreted her words. It was always taught that the mark they bore was the shape of Darkspawn. Bodies so maimed and distorted that none should see them and know them for men. That is all I know of your adversary, Inquisitor. <laughs> you just wanted to rub up on Ace, man. I'm telling you. It matches, but not perfectly. That's just a myth. It matches, but obviously not perfectly. Some of the Chant of Light describes what we've seen and what Corypheus said, but not all of it. The chant of light is the work of mankind. We of all people must accept that mankind is fallible. Listeners may have misheard one of Andraste's songs. Just one word sung incorrectly could change everything. And how many verses were stricken or changed for foolish political reasons, like the canticle of Chartan? Still, I would trust these words over any spoken by Corypheus. I hope they help you. Hold on, Giselle. Your worship. Let's do ask her about the people, though. Can you tell me how our people are doing? What would you like to know? How are our forces at Skyhold doing? Still in shock, for the most part. To see Haven destroyed so soon after the Conclave. You saved many, but still lives were lost. And traveling through the wilderness did not make treating injuries easier. For all that, though, more people arrive every day. Some are refugees, but others want to help. Your Inquisition is growing. I pray you use it wisely. 
Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empris de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olé and Ferelden. Farewell. Farewell. Take it easy, Giselle. Have a good one. All right, well, let's head to... Try to find our tomes here. We do need to go to the Arcanus still. You know, let's go to the Arcanus first. Actually, there might be a tome by Varric. Come here, Varric. The Way of the Artificer. From Of Mechanical Obscura, the words of three eyes make one pass to stand out. What can this be? To ask that question is, prove oneself a craftsman, one who looks upon the role and wonders what it can become. The artificer is not of that kin, for she will look upon the same resource and wonder not how it can be elevated, but how it can be made to serve. There are no more words necessary, multiple schematics follow. All right, thank you, Varric. Varric over here studying. Let's head to the Arcanist, get her on board. And then we will attempt to move out to the specialization. Though the Black Imperium is something. Inquisitor? The Arcanist has arrived. You should see for yourself. Fucking creepy. Hello there. They're slack jawed. Let's figure out what you need. What's up, girl? You're the magical advisor. I hear him. The Inquisitor. I'm Dagna. Arcanist Dagna. It's an honor, your worship. Is that it? The hand anchor mark? It's pretty. And the reach was pretty too. In a destroy everything sort of way. <laughs> it kind of was, actually. You're not what I expected. You're not quite what I was expecting. You're a Dwarven Arcanist? The only one. When you learn things everyone says you can't, you get to be the first. I don't need to tell you. I've looked at Herod's devices. The precision is fantastic, but typical. Mundane. Old thinking. Is what now? No disrespect meant to the classical trades, but you need a new perspective. I've made adjustments. As long as I keep making them, you can craft just about anything. Almost safely. Oh, most safely. Holy. Let's ask some questions here. Where does a dwarf go to study magical theory? Get out. I asked myself that question for years. Turns out, not in Orzmar. I had to start at a circle. I had help, though. A Grey Warden, and I am forever grateful. With that sanction, I visited a half dozen circles. Wonders I've seen. And with an objective eye, I can spot where they overlap. That's a surprise for every teacher. It's a grand tradition, and it works so well with new thinking. A Grey Warden helped you. You notice the anchor, a Grey Warden helped you. You were quick to join the Inquisition. Is there something you want? I waste a chance to get close to you. And Corypheus, my goodness. And actual physical rifts in the veil. I mean, we dwarves, no dreams, right? Now there are doors. We can do doors. So there's that, and all the things you'll probably find, and what I'll get to make. The rules are different here. 
Plus, you're paying me a lot. Like, wow, so much. <laughs> Josephine's up on that, not us, friends. What qualifies you to be an arcanist? I took the title because I'm a magical researcher, philosopher, and master of practical application. And I like it. I can't actually do magic because I'm a dwarf, but that also means no risk of possession. Safer than a mage. It means that every skill I have, I've learned through reason and understanding. Coming from the Smith cast, I know the value of mastering a craft. Did you know dwarves invented enchanting? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> what is it you do exactly? I was born to the forge. That's literal in the Smith cast. So the hammer and tong, that's like a heartbeat. But you've a man for that already, and a good one. I'm here because of my passion for magic. Magical study, magical theory, magical enchantment, and through it, the manipulation of masterworks. I studied it all with an objective eye. No secrets, no fears. That lets me apply principles like no other. Maybe one other, but I don't have that wonky of a mind, so I still kind of win. Fucking sandal. <laughs> I would love to see her and Sandal together. That'd be so cool. Oh, come on, man. Did we miss the other stuff? What's the story with enchanting? Lyrium is the heart. In certain rational patterns, it beats like something alive. That's how I see it. So, a mage can make your weapons do things, but with the right runes, the right rarities, your toys become wonders. It's the one thing mages can't do. It drives them mad. Literally. Dwarves are resistant, so it doesn't affect us. Mostly. <laughs> Mostly. You have the ability to make exceptional weapons and armor. Masterworks? There's an art to the forge, as well as enchanting. You need an ear for it. And hands. Eyes, too. Nothing bad to say about Herod on that front. He's, he's wonderful. But there's this little more needed. With the right bits, an edge can be more than an edge. Armor can do more than protect. A hue can be just a bit brighter. In short, smithing can be... more. <laughs> In short. <laughs> All right, Dagna. Another time, Dagna. Of course. Bring me what you want made, and I'll make sure it goes just right. So, let's see if we can get the other stuff. What can I do for you? Oh, we didn't miss it. Cool. You mentioned a Grey Warden who helped you start your studies? Not any Grey Warden. THE Grey Warden. The hero of Ferelden is a hero in Orzammar, too. It's incredible that someone like the hero of Ferelden would stop to help the little people. Literally. <laughs> Warden sounds special, obviously. You gave up so much. Left your home. Was it really that amazing? Yes. I left my home and my family, but I knew... I just knew I could be more than a smith. I wish my people weren't stuck in the past, and I regret that my father couldn't imagine another life for me. But I don't regret what I did. Man, I'm happy that she left. She went and pursued her dreams, and look at her now. She's actually achieved what she wanted to achieve. Your years of study have paid off. Oh yes, the mages said I brought a valuable perspective. I've even presented my work to the College of Enchanters. I wanted an exchange. The surface could learn about lyrium smithing, and Orzammar would gain knowledge of magic. But now there's no college. And so far as the Shaper is concerned, I'm castless. So you're getting my best work, Inquisitor. Let's make some great stuff. The Warden affected you in a special way. Talk to anyone, they'll say the same. It was a dark time. There was one light. He saved us. He saved me. All right, rein it in. You have work to do. Right, sorry. I get carried away when I think of it. Ready when you need me. Hey, Dag, now I'm not done yet. Well, how are you? You noticed the anchor and wanted something crafted. You seemed impressed by the anchor. What does it look like to you? I heard what everyone says what you heard Corypheus say. That's a long chain of who said what. To me, it says key. But keys do a lot of things. Open, lock, switch. Some open one thing, some open everything. It sounds like Corypheus made it to open, but it looks like you can use it to close. It may be that simple. It sure is pretty. <laughs> Wish I could see through it. I mean, you kind of can. Dagna, show me what you can do. Do you want fire? The first ask is always fire. It's fire, isn't it? Here's how it goes. Bring me the rare stuff for enchanting or masterworks and prep it here, just like normal. 
Except it's not normal. It's manipulation of primal forces. And I'll make sure it goes just right. You'll see. Let's see together. Damn right, let's see together. Tag the romance, baby. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go towards the war table. Actually, Inquisitor. We need to go and find the other books. Any thoughts about our new tenant? Are you sure she doesn't own the place? Acts like it. No offense, it needed work. And fine work she's done to it, and for you. Don't mind me. Been a lot of change lately. Cheery as sugared flowers she is. <laughs> I'll be back later. I'll be here. Take it easy, Harriet. Have a good one, friend. All right, so we need to go to probably the bar area because I can imagine the Tempest one is by Sarah and the Assassin one's probably by Cole. Though we might have a few people to actually talk to in the bar as well. But we pretty much touched base with everybody. The only people that we have left is just, I guess, basic people. Though, hold on here. Let's go down to the jails because I don't remember if we can see Alexius down here or something. Or maybe there's something down here. With allies come enemies. And now we have a place to hold them. Well, I don't really see Alexius anywhere. Here's me, guard. Your worship, the cells are ready for the enemies of the Inquisition. Good facilities in Skyhold. Whoever built this knew how to keep prisoners safe, but secure. All right. Prison structural evaluation. Harder job this. Structural fractures throughout. Major block shifted. It settled over an age or more, so I had the workers shore it up and call it stable. I don't recommend rebuilding. If we can change the height distribution, it might stress cracks we can't see. I've seen failures like this before in dams with the pressure of a flood behind them. What caused that in the prison this size, I don't want to know. Structural evaluation for Lord Kadash's consideration, Mason Gatsy. I love that he called us Kadash there, awesome. So was it out here? No? All right, well maybe he never is in the prisons. Interesting. Prisons are here just to look pretty, friends. And that little write-up that something destroyed the prison. I wonder what it was. Maybe dragon type of stuff? Dragon fire out there? Something? Alright, let's head to... Let's see, Cassandra... Stefan finally died. It was a blessing, really. He's been in so much pain since Haven. He was out of his mind at the end. He smiled. Said he smelled his mother's turnip stew and slipped away. His mother's turnip stew. There's another codex over here. We got the quartermaster stuff. We will jump into there later. Structural report, brick marks. Skyhold has stolen bricks. Found a brick mark I know from my elder's notes. Fried in high ever before it was sacked in 480. That was Orle, but this style isn't, so it was probably looted. There may be others. That time is long past, but the Inquisitor should know where they live. Ganon Mason. Our cause writes a greater wrong crimes in the past will be eclipsed soon enough as this becomes the home of the Inquisition. But send word to High Ever so they can amend their history's Commander Cullen. Alright Cullen, good man. Let's head inside the... We really only need to check the Quartermaster there. I think we pretty much got almost all the notes so far. What's up, Harding? You hard in high time? Inquisitor. What's been going on? Varric came by to talk. He told me a story about copper marigolds. All right, take it easy. Take care. <laughs> We're just going to one and done Harding. Literally. Herald's Rest, a place for all in service here to rest, regroup, and preserve. The ways the heart remember best, your saving grace, the Herald's Rest. Oh, that was freaking awesome. What is this? Now gather ye drunkards, that's how these begin. The story of our heroes, of wars, and our kin. Well, now the fight's ours, and none of us cower. We'll drink to the heroes, cause we know we can win. Oh, they cut into heaven and called it a door. The herald will lead us to even the score. We'll take back the sky and we'll give them the floor. 
We'll take back the sky, we'll give them the floor. The beast was upon us, our hopes all but drown. At the neck, a monster, at our heels, a hound. But we found a fortress and it's friggin' gorgeous. So join the chorus and down a round. Oh, he cut into heaven, he said it before. Andraste will guide us to even the score. We'll take back the sky and we'll give him the floor. We'll take back the sky and we'll give him the floor. We look to our leader and heft up our crest to show this Corypheus we're not impressed. He thinks we've been mastered. We'll beat down the bastard and then we'll get plastered. We're blessed by the best. Oh, he cut into heaven. Now sing it once more. Inquisitor, lead us to even the score. We'll take back the sky and we'll give him the floor. We'll take back the sky and feed him his lie. And black his foul eye, let all arrows fly. And then we'll have pie, die, 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 die. We'll take back the sky, we'll give him the floor. An exercise in rhyme by Meriden a minstrel to our fine inquisitor. All right, Meriden, get it, girl. That was really cool. Tavern notice, archery contest Saturday. All challengers welcome. Sister Liliana to judge, except Varric and Bianca. Ooh. Varric whoops ass, that's why. Inquisitor. And you are? The bartender, Cabot. Just the bartender? You were expecting... <laughs> Nothing, I guess. Where's my old bartender? Hey, where is the... I was expecting the same face from Haven. It's not a hereditary profession. I think Fleesa... What was it? She joined the Chantry? I don't understand the type, but that's her business. So, so, what's the current mood? Scorn. Scorn? Where did you study? I assume you trained. In bartending? I'm no alchemist. You mix the bottles that don't taste like nug and you pretend to listen. I suppose I trained at home during feast day family visits. My specialty is ale, old Antivan recipe. The secret is... Ale. You're a bit of a hard ass. Why are you here? And if I could fight, I'd be in a helmet. If I was a mage, I'd throw fire. And probably be dead. But I can't do anything. Just like the hundreds of people who can't do anything. Who make sure the thousands who can do something can do it. Besides, if you know a safer place than your castle, do share. I mean, everyone plays a part here. The bartender is just as important as the frontline soldier. What's the word out there? Well, they once wore, now talks, now fashionable hats. Now they've seen something shiny. As you were. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. All right, we got Iron Bull over there. We got Cremisius. You know, let's put the creme, actually. Inquisitor. That's got a good ring to it. We're happy to be here, Your Worship. You need anything, let me know. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the Chargers? I suspect Haven's quiet by now. Might be worth sending the boys back. We could recover some supplies, get an idea about the enemy's strength. We could even pick up any stragglers who haven't found Skyhold yet. <laughs> Krem is actually sitting in the chair here. He usually fucking stands on the chair. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> All right, Krem, take it easy, man. <laughs> Hold on, let's talk to this fella. Salud. I hope I can help somehow. Maybe cleaning? Hell yeah, go oh, clean. Inquisitor, I, um, I joined. Sutherland, your worship. I saw some bandits, so I came to warn people. I'll let your warriors know and then stay out of the way. All right. A young fool, helpful operation. Yeah, anything else? I hope I can help somehow. Maybe cleaning. Go clean then, if that's what you want to do. Cleaning's fun. Of she who stands behind the <laughs> Nobility do not properly understand the word witch. She who stands behind the throne, nobility don't know the proper meaning of the word witch. Ooh, I think I know who they're talking about there. There was cabinet of wonder whose it was. Delivered one cabinet suitable for a lady's curiosities. If resources should be spent on such things, Sir Morris. 
below a comment and journal entry by Sarah. Also doodles of Sarah with her tongue out. Eat it, Morris. Stuff needs a place. Stuff. Banner, circle, saw. Lizard, scratch out, rough and weird. A la fake, real one stink. Hard, little worlds, goblet, fancy cup. Cup, shit goblet. Bottle, warden strong. Bottle to venter, piss weak. Stupid sword, there's a small blood stain. Silk, bolts, not arrow bolts, soft. Make something. I think that minstrel Meriden is chatting me up. The song is creepy. <laughs> that song is kind of creepy, Sarah, but it's pretty awesome. The Way of the Tempest. From Of Storms, Notes of the Tempest in practice, Kim's words make one passage stand out. They expect folly in the Tempest and are fooled, for there is no madness in knowing the absolute limit of ability and charging to the edge. Wars may be tactical affair, but the one-on-one -on -one meeting of combat is decided by the one who first realizes they are in mortal peril and commits fully. Many have reached that point. The Tempest starts there. By the time their foes have risen to mash, it is too late. And another. They ask what type of shot they should exchange the mixture in, expecting some trebuchet pot or a vessel fit to pour over a palisade. I bade them make it by the barrel and store it in my quarters with a thousand glass vials. They were afraid and I smiled. Another still. Forward ever so, where you were is dangerous, where you go is dangerous. Different reasons both to your advantage. Leap, then leap again. Looking is for witness, not the disaster. Also one more. I did not say I was unappreciative nor unimpressed that you were in sight to behold is not in question. All I noted is that the Tempest is offensive not just in ability but in what condition you leave the field. I should like a hundred of you to deploy in the cities of my enemies and not one to stand as defense in my own home. A series of unstable brews follow. Alright, well, interesting enough. Let's head on up to maybe find coal. We are definitely probably not getting out of here. <laughs> Skyhold just has so much stuff. I love it though. Look for coal. You know, we should actually talk to coal. Way of the Assassin. From of granting death, blades, and other means. Errors words make one pass to stand out. You misunderstand the point of secrecy, of course, they knew that I was there, one of their numbers was dead, it was never the aim that they are ignorant to my purpose or presence. Death is after all a message, and a message are meant to be received. It is paramount that the arrival remains secret, not the result. They know what may come, but never when, until the answer is now. And there is naught they can do but receive. A treatise on cutting edges and other debilitating elements follow. All right, well, let's talk to Cole, actually. Kind of miss him. What are you doing? Listening. Eyes rough, jangling armor hurts my ears, back aching, fingers too clumsy for knots. Wind cool, like Aunt Eloise's pond, lips scalded as I sip, warmth blossoms, first kiss in the barn, what was his name? Tin jangle as the blood spills, Pierre's wrapped body on the wagon to the chantry, five more minutes, my fault. Do you hear everything, right? Can you listen to anyone's mind like you did hers? No, they have to need me. Pain, fear, sadness, guilt, anger, hurt. Things I can fix. So he can't just normally just listen to people's thoughts in their minds. So they have to be basically needing him. Things that he can fix. Interesting. You know, I kind of just did not remember that. I always thought that Cole could kind of read your thoughts no matter what, but now I understand. Can you do something for her? Yes.
It's okay. Nothing you did mattered. What? Who are you? They lie there, and sometimes they die, just like Pierre. You can't save them. I don't... I don't know who you are. Wait. That didn't work. Let me try again. You'll forget me in a minute. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you going to do? Make her forget me. Then do it again, the right way. No, don't do that or wait and watch. Though, to be honest with you, I think Ace would be curious to wait and watch and see what the hell he actually does here. You can't save all of them. What? Like Pierre getting sick after you snuck out to Aunt Eloise's pond. You want it to be your fault, so there's a reason and it's not so frightening. But there is no reason. Pierre just got sick. The soldier was never going to live. It wasn't your fault. Better. I mean, that is good work, but isn't it... You think it would be bad to actually have people lose that stuff? You know what I mean? The fear and things that make you a person, pretty much. I don't know. I always thought it's kind of strange, but I wonder how it would... How these people actually would kind of react to losing that edge that makes them, like, defeat like that. They don't remember you? I mean, it was nice work, if it does actually work. She doesn't blame herself anymore? Not as much. It was bouncing around inside her closing up into a ball of wrong. Now it's open. She'll get it out. Well done. Thank you for letting me help her. It's not how a person would do it. But it helped. That's what matters. But then again, it's not like it's... Eventually people mend wounds, you know what I mean? So maybe it's just kind of like a blunt way of mending wounds, so it really don't, it's not harmful, obviously, but... She'll get it out. I love that. I love when he says that, man. She'll get it out. All right, Cole, go on with yourself, man. All right, let's head towards the... War Room. Maybe head out of here. It's time to... I do actually want to go to the Black Emporium to see if I can find things. Obviously, we have the Assassin oh, 1 marked here, but the other ones I need to look and see what we need... Though, to be honest with you, if we do choose Assassin, I don't even know if Death Root is actually going to be there. In the Black Emporium. That's something to consider. Alright, let's see. What did I want to do? There's one thing I wanted to do. Let's do Dorian's request. Now that you're in charge, there's something I thought I'd bring up. There are venatory mages out there lurking in the wilderness. Can you arrange what we discussed earlier, Ambassador? I found the money. The Inquisition will compensate the families of those we lost at Haven. Thank you. This comes as no surprise to you since you can't swing a dead cat without hitting one of Corypheus's minions. But these particular venatory have additional significance to myself. For one, I know them personally. I would call them friends, except that would imply I didn't want them dead, which I do. Since I have an idea of where they might be, thanks to an investigation I began before coming south, I thought we could put our heads together and track them down. At which point they would sneer something at you into Venter and you would be forced to kill them, which makes everyone happy. You for eliminating a potential threat, me for eliminating men and women too stupid and short-sighted to be permitted. Continued breath. They would be less happy, but who cares about them? Up to you, my Lord Inquisitor Dorian. Let us look into this carefully and quietly. We do not wish to alert the Venatori to our awareness of their existence. Sure. Dorian's leads were effective. The Inquisition found several locations where the Venatori could be hiding. 
Advanced Cans, Purpose Unknown. If you wish to deal with these mages, I'm certain Dorian would be pleased. Uh, mark the locations on your map should you pass by any on your travels. All right, well, ooh, we got you on board with that, Dorian. Let's go ahead, get a little bit of money. Sure, Lily. Cloaking and Dagger. Let's head to the Black Emporium because we have to get stuff here. Voices on the winds speak of a new power aboard in the world. Inquisition, they whisper. An ancient name restored a memory, rekindled and transformed into a blaze of hope. I hear the whispers and summon the fires of the Inquisition here in the depths beneath the city of chains. Countless mysteries hide in the shadows and anticipation of the light. Home, the Black Emporium awaits. Xenon the Antiquarium must spend his days composing mellow dramatic invitations to his establishment. I imagine being stuck in a chair for centuries leaves one somewhat lacking for entertainment. This particular message was hand delivered by a cloak figure at twilight, precisely as the sun disappeared beneath the peaks. My men spy the courier lurking about our outer gates for at least a hour waiting for sunset. A servant under the command of some very specific instructions, I assume. That aside, I would encourage a visit to the Black Emporium. The Antiquarian's Horde is legendary. Only those he deems worthy ever lay eyes on it. The Champion of Kirkwall received the invitation once and reported, among other things, strange mirror that could transform even flesh and bone. Who knows, we may uncover something that aids in the battle against Corypheus. So right here, friends, obviously, if you play the other games and you were playing this for the first time, this literally is always here. This will show up you know, talking about aiding in the battle against Corypheus in Haven. So this is why I did not want to click on it until now that we know about Corypheus. So I would definitely avoid this. But then again, if you're seeing it here, so you already know Corypheus is around. Anyways, when he passes across the Waking Sea to Kirkwall, that's easily arranged. Get me there, Cullen. A ship has been secured. Be wary of what you find in the Black Imperium Inquisitor. I have heard many fruitful tales. Cullen... Sure, Cullen. All right, let's do Sarah, Varric, and Cole. Codex unlocked the Black Emporium. Oh my goodness, look uh, at him. Uh, handle the mirror with care. It has been known to bite. All right, what does he got going on here? Xenon the Antiquarian. I left the Black Emporium empty-handed for two reasons. First, most of the items were priced far beyond what I could afford. Second, I spent most of my short time there trying to sate my curiosity about its proprietor. I found myself stealing glances at the antiquarian from behind piles of books, between shelves, and at one point over a basket of mishmash socks. <laughs> there he sat, petrified in the center of the Emporium, a skin of waxy gray over ancient taunt Sanu. Moaning in a voice so dry and brittle, it sounded like a snapping of twigs after a drought. A girl of not more than 12 scurried to and fro and fulfill his numerous requests. Another patron noticed my fascination and told me that the girl, most likely an urchin rescued from the street, was responsible for the needs of the antiquarian. Feeding, washing, and the like. So impossibly old he is and fragile, his skin... He can only tolerate the barest whisper of touches from the smallest and most tender of his servants. Only in this way may he come close to his lost youth, said the man. I was surrounded by objects of legend, yet none fascinated me as did the Antiquarian. From a journal page found in Kirkwall's Dark Town, written by an unknown author. Well, thank you, sir. All right, let's look for the death row. I don't think there's any more codexes in here. I think that was just it. If you want the funny codexes, you will need to go to Dragon Age 2 and play it, obviously. I mean, it's the best fucking Dragon Age game. Get to it, friends. You haven't played it by now. You need to. I hear the Red Templars are trying to find this place. <laughs> Not if I can help it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys know that that voice is actually male hawk? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see, do we have any... You know, I don't think the Black Emporium actually has it. 
We're gonna have to go to um, places. So hold on here. Inquisitor's Pass. Would it be Inquisitor's Pass? Probably. Way of the Assassin, we need to find Death Root. You know, I don't think we can find Death Root until we go to the Western Approach, so we may have to... Alright, let's... Let's... Think of something here. So, we have the Way of the Tempest. Fill a bottle of smoke, study the methods required to use it, and Kim will reveal the secrets of the Tempest. Specialization. Kill demons to fill essence containment apparatus at Apostates Landing, Long River, and Storm Solitude in the Storm Coast. Readings can be found among the belongings of followers who share this discipline, or if unavailable, among the wares of the book merchant and Val Royo. Weight of the Artificer. So this needs obsidian and quillback spine. So that's definitely Western approach, for sure. Construct the proper tools, study the methods to use them, and three eyes will reveal the secrets of the trap laying artificer specializations, collect spines from Alpha Quillbacks at Nazir's Path, the canyons, and near old prison road in the Western Approach. Readings can be found among the belongings of followers who share this discipline available, blah blah blah. We know that. Alright, so this is Obsidian and Quillback. Well, that's in the Western Approach. What does the Assassin want him? Craft a proper knife, study the methods required to wield it. And air will reveal the secrets of the assassin specialization. Kill guild leaders for their tokens at the East Side Hills, the Flats, and the Black Fens in Crestwood. Readings can be found among the belongings of followers who share this discipline, or if unavailable, among the wares of the book merchant in Valeria. Okay, so my thought process is here. I actually want to make Ace an assassin. I think the assassin is going to be perfect. I feel it's going to be fun with my playstyle because I love going into stealth. Wanted to consider Artificer as well, but the Artificer is only really great for bow users in my eyes. The Artificer up close and personal with the little bombs is probably going to be very fun, but then again, the focus ability, you can't even use it as a dual wielder, so it kind of defeats the purpose of using this specialization, kinda. I mean, obviously, you can, we can use the Market of Rift, and we probably will use the Market of Rift even over all these anyway, so you could still just go ahead and use it, but I think that was kind of on my bottom tier because I already played this, and I already played a Tempest before too, and the Tempest is very fun, friends. I love the slowing down time and stuff. It's just really enjoyable, especially as a dual wielder, but I feel like I've never played the Assassin before, and it was my favorite class in multiplayer, like beyond my favorite class. I've played it so many times, more than the other ones, just nonstop. So I just love the killing and then going back into stealth. And obviously we've been doing it this whole time. So if anything, it's going to up the our combat ability. So we are definitely going to be an assassin. I just am wondering here, we need to strategize because I want to go to, obviously we're going to have to rush off and go to Crestwood. But this death route, is there another way to get it without opening the Western Approach? Like, I don't really, I don't really like opening places and then leaving it there. Especially places like the Western Approach. I don't mind doing, like, the Hissing Waste, because we're going to need to open that up at some point and run to that merchant. But, I don't really fancy opening up the Western Approach just to get some death route and then coming back. I don't like breaking story places up like that. Like I said, the Hissing Waste is what it is. Because, well, you just have to. You just gotta open that place up and go to the Dog Merchant if you want to get your really good schematics. So, I mean, we'll see. I mean, my plan was to do the Crestwood, and then I want to do a place like a side place like the Bog, Fallowmire, and then work towards finishing off the rest of the Hinterlands and Storm Coast, and then heading to the Western Approach. And then that's when we'll start doing main quest again. So we have a lot of stuff to do, but this is what we're going to do. I don't know if, like I said, if there's another way to get Death Root. I don't think there is, unless, you know, this comes up eventually. But I'm pretty sure there literally is not another way to get Death Root. You have to open up, uh, we'll probably hey, have to open up. Break everything. What's he on about? We'll have to open up the Western Approach and go around and get Death Root, because... That seems to be the only way. And like, like I said, unless there is just something here, but I doubt it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and save here. We'll head back Help to... Help yourself to a sock from the basket. But only one! 
we'll head back to Skyhold, do a little bit of the war table stuff again. I might check in with a few people, and then we're going to start heading to uh, Crestwood and get that on board. But anyways, my friends, take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe, and I will see you next time. Take care.